Hi, I'm teacher Amanda and today we will continue standard 5, month 4, English exam paper 1, social expression and also comprehension from page 5 onwards. Now, before we start with social expression, there's two things that we need to take note of. The first and most important is the speech bubble. The speech bubble that is located at top of the picture is usually the conversation starter whereby the speech bubble that is located underneath or below the picture is usually the reply. Now, that's the first thing that we need to take note of. The second, uh, the second important thing that we need to take note of is the picture because the picture itself will also show you which is the conversa uh, conversation starter or, and which is not. Alright, let's look at question A. This is your friend Johan. Alright, so that is a conversation starter because it's uh, the speech bubble is on top. So how should the reply be? Hi Johan, nice to meet you. Or Hi Johan, it's a pleasure to meet you. Alright, now look at question B. Ouch, it hurts. Alright, this is the conversation starter because it's on top, right? So what the, what would the reply be? Let me have a look at your knee. That is the reply. Let's look at question C. Where can I find science fiction books? Now, this is a conversation starter. So what should be the reply? It is around that corner. All right. That is for the social expression, page 5. Now, let's go to comprehension, page 6 onwards. Now, how to answer the comprehension is very easy. Okay, sometimes the answer is already inside the passage, so you need to read the questions carefully and you need to read the passage carefully. Alright, now, again, because it's one mark and two marks, you have to be, um, you have to read it carefully to avoid um, careless mistakes and also you need to uh, write in a full sentence to get the mark. If you answer uh, not in a full sentence or it's just a half answer, a teacher will usually minus your marks during the exam. Okay, let's look at question A. What is Superbites? Now, Superbites is a brand of dog food. Where can you get this answer? You can get the answer in paragraph number one. Okay, Superbites is a good dog food brand over here. Okay, now that's the answer. Fill in suitable conjunctions in the blank and underline the correct answer below. So what is conjunction? Conjunction in Bahasa is kata hubung. Okay, now there's a trick to answer this question. You need to read the full sentence before you answer. You cannot answer when you read the question halfway because sometimes um, the question can be tricky. So you need to read the full sentence. Dogs perform many useful tasks for humans including hunting, farm, work, and security as well as assisting those with disabilities such as the blind. And here means her, alright? Farm work and security as well as assisting. Another word for assisting means helping out, okay? Helping out those with disabilities such as the blind. Therefore, okay, we should treat dogs kindly. So that's the answer for question B. Question C. Mr. Sim says that Lassie dislikes bathing. Why? Lassie dislikes bathing. This is most probably because Lassie does not like water. Now, in which paragraph does, that men does it mention that he dislikes bathing? It is paragraph number 3. All right? Lassie also likes to eat chicken and rice, but he dislikes bathing. Okay? He doesn't like water. Okay? Lassie does not like water. All right? Now, question D. Read the statement below and take the correct statement. Okay? Correct statement in the box below. Fifi is a vegetarian. And Fifi likes to go for walks with Mr. Sim's father and daughter. Now, let's see. Is Fifi a vegetarian? No, Fifi is not a vegetarian because it shows that in paragraph 2 here, Fifi also likes to eat chicken. Oh yeah, so Fifi is not a vegetarian and also Fifi loves to go walks with my father and my daughter Lisa in the evenings. So the first one is wrong. Fifi is a vegetarian. It's wrong. Fifi likes chicken. Alright, so the first statement is wrong. 
The second statement is correct because Fifi likes to go for walks with Mr. Sim's father and daughter. Okay, now Lassie. Lassie likes to do exercise. He often jogs with Mr. Sim. Is it true? Let's look. In paragraph number 3, it states that, yes, Lassie also likes to go jogging with me in the evening. So, this statement is correct. Alright, how about the next one? Fifi likes to sleep in Mr. Sim's room. Is that the correct answer? No, it's not. Because according to paragraph number 3, Lassie sleeps in a can over here. Alright, so this statement is wrong. Question E. Describe a characteristic of Mr. Sim based on the passage above. Now, let's look at the passage. Okay. Now, look at the last paragraph, the fourth paragraph. I love my dogs very much and I hope that they can live for a very long time. It shows that Mr. Sim is a very caring person. Okay. Because he also takes good care of his dog by bringing the dogs out for a jog and also feed it good foods right over here now that's so you can write mr sim is a caring person he loves his dog very much and he takes good care of them right so that it's one mark for question e look at the next one read the dialogue and answer the questions now you again have to read it very carefully because sometimes the question is very straightforward, sometimes the question is not straightforward. So you need to read it carefully. Where is David going? So look at the first one. Mother, can I go skateboarding? So this shows that David is going skateboarding, right? So David is going skateboarding. B. Underline the correct answers below. Again, you have to read it very carefully. Okay. Sometimes the sentence can be a bit tricky, so you need to read it properly skateboarding was once banned or banned banned because once it happened in the past so banned b-a-n-n-e-d past tense in norway between 1978 and 1989 due to a number of injuries because it's stated between so the answer should be and instead of or question c why did his father buy those things for him let's have a look his father buy those things for him because he does not want David to get hurt. Now, where can you find the answer? It's over here. Mother say your father bought those things for you. A helmet, a pair of waist guards, a pair of elbow and knee pads. Great. Mother say yes, he doesn't want you to get hurt. So that is where you can find the answer for question C. Question D. What does the word protect means? Put a tick below for your answer means the same meaning for protect protect okay it's not harm it's not control it's not encourage the answer is guard guard is another word for protect okay let's look at question e why do you think david's friend can't recognize him okay david's friends can't recognize him because it is hard to recognize him when he is wearing the protective gears it's, uh, it makes sense because when you're wearing protective gear, it's very hard to see you because you're all covered with the protective gear, right? Yes. See? Uh, it's also say here, uh, also written here in the last last uh, dialogue. I'm sure they can't recognize me like this. Meaning to say, uh, the friends can't recognize when he wear his protective gear. Okay, so this is the two marks to question E. Let's look at the last comprehension. How to make bookmarks, alright? Now, question A. What is the introduction about? Now, again, when they say what's the introduction about, you have to look at the title of the um, paragraph. You need to look. How to make bookmarks. So, this is the title, alright? So, the introduction is about how to make bookmarks, alright? Underline the correct adverbs and conjunctions below. Now, let's read. The number of people living in extreme poverty around the world has sharply declined over the past three decades. Poverty means what? People living in extreme poor, poor countries without food, without money. Alright, the past three decades. But, Tan but in 2010, it still includes roughly. Roughly means Takai. Okay, includes roughly 400 million children or one third of those living in such bad conditions. Okay, the answer is but 
and also roughly takai. Now, why must you cut them into shapes? Alright, I must cut them into shapes so that it looks more attractive. What is the meaning of attractive? Attractive means look good. Look good so that people will buy. Okay, now, you say there, cut them into shapes. Okay, now cut them into shapes so that, now it makes sense when you cut them into shapes, it looks more interesting so that people will buy. So I must cut them into shapes so that it looks more attractive. Alright, so that people will buy. Now question D, which of the statement below is not true? Look, not true. Okay, now this is the exception, not true. Put a tick on the box for your answer. Now the first one, you must use thin paper. Is it correct? No, because it's stated here that you must use thick paper. The paper must be thick. Alright, and let's look at the next one. You must put a ribbon. Does it right there? You must put a ribbon. Yes, punch a hole and put a ribbon at step number 5. Alright, so this is the correct one. Okay, you need to cut into shapes. That's correct because as we see just now in number number 4, step number 4, you must cut them into shapes, triangles, square and etc. Last one, you need to use black paper. Is it true? No, it's not because according to step number three, you must print them out on color paper. Okay, so which is not true. The first one and the last one, you must use thin paper that is not true and you need to use black paper that is not true. Now let's look at question um, E, the last question. What does the face for a good cause mean? The phrase for good cause means making good use of the money. How do we know that? Alright, let's look at the last step. Step number seven. Give the money for good cause to help the poor children. Okay, now that's why. A good cause means making good use of the money and the money is going to the poor children, right? So that's the meaning of um, making good use of the money for a good cause. So that's all for standard five, month four, exam paper, social expression and comprehension. Thank you.